router porn. I have just run into a guy who um, put a video on Kickstarter, and I think I'm a backer. You know when you go on Kickstarter and you just kind of throw money at stuff? No, just me. Okay. Power up three. This is the paper airplane. This is made out of regular A4 paper. This is the smart module. So when you get the thing, you get told how to fold this in the right way, or you can fold it whatever way you want, as long as it fits the thing? In general, you can fit it to almost any paper airplane, but we recommend a specific design. Yeah. It's easy to fold, very well known. And we just want the customers to have a great experience the first time. Afterwards, you can invent. It's like own. it's like my childhood dream. You know, when you make them in school and you wish that they would just keep going on forever, and yeah. you could control them and steer them right into the teachers or your fellow yeah, so classmates or whatever. Dream come true. So you've made the dream come true. So you just plug it in. Uh, you turn on the the module. You have a uh, Kickstarter green. Turn on the app. You see the rudder here? Yeah. I'm tilting the phone. Ah, oh, that's amazing. And this is the thrust control. So what you're saying, what you're saying to me here is you've made a paper airplane that I can now control remotely with my phone. Is that what you're saying to me? Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's so exciting! It's currently on Kickstarter. Kickstarter is ending in two weeks. Yeah, over two weeks. We just crossed nine hundred thousand. Wow. What was the what was the goal? Fifty. Fifty. We did that in, in eight hours. Wow. Thank you so much, and, okay. and well done, and thank you for making kids' dreams come true. That makes me happy that the the paper airplane guy not only does he have a really cool product, which is turning paper airplanes into remote controlled airplanes, which is a genius idea anyway. But that he's really enjoying the show, not because he's making loads of sales, but because he's getting to meet all of his Kickstarter backers, and they're all weird and wonderful people from like Taiwan and the US, and tall and short and funny and weird, and he gets to meet all of them, which he wouldn't have had a forum to do otherwise, and that's that's kind of part of what CES, I guess, brings you. This is how you become a gadget gangster. You have this guy constantly serving on the bar. There's a bar on their stand. You have these these gangster-looking guys just sitting down talking about tech. You have these amazing girls that are on the stand as well. And then apparently there's also some phones and some stuff, but this is really not the main focus of this particular stand. Look at that, look at the speakers. This is ridiculous. This is some classy audio. When they eventually make me king of somewhere, this is what I'm getting. <laughs> this is the Jabra Soulmate, and they've come out with a mini. Oh, so cute. And a massive one. And so that's why there's so many 3D printers knocking about, because we're in the 3D printing zone. <laughs> Who would have thought? Oh, is this food? 3D food printing? This is 3D food printing. What are you printing? Well, right now we are able to print in sugar or yeah. chocolate, and the sugar recipes can be um, any kind of candy recipe. So we can print in cherry or sour apple, that sort of and thing. And what is this printing right now? It's printing chocolate right now. It's printing what you see on the display, which is actually one of these items, but it's printing it in chocolate. And look, I bumped into someone else. I bumped into the Makey's gang, and they make these awesome 3D printed dolls that you can customize and make them look like people that you love or hate and do, do whatever you want with them thereafter. This is a Cube 3.0 in action. Look at it go. And this is making a little house. And this guy's making a plastic cart, but scary and confusing reasons. Beautiful. And this is, the, is this the scanner that's used to actually... Yeah, that's a 3D scanner right there. And how, what is this attached to? Oh, um, you can attach it to any of your, your desktop or your mobile tablet. It yep. almost has a USB connectivity. For okay. And and how do you how do you use it? You just you kind of you yeah. You just basically start it and then just go on basically 180 degrees around yeah. the object. Oh, okay. And then you go ahead and capture the image and makes it 3D. Will I tell you where you, when you've missed anything? Can you can you? Yeah, it'll come in like little blotches, but you have an autofill option and it'll match the skin tone or the color of it. Okay. And it'll autofill it if you want it to look like this. Awesome. And and is it possible to on purpose miss out bits? Because I've got I'm carrying some Christmas weight. <laughs> So is it possible? You can, if you want to, you can auto adjust it if you want to after the whole image is uploaded. So you can go ahead and slim yourself down if sure. you want to make it a little bit sexy. All right. Or add some wings more to customize it. Wait, wait, are you saying I'm not sexy right now? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're telling me? 